we're just gonna make a curve rig from the top view. So we're gonna make a this way curve. And da. And individual elements. Scale it down and subdivide. Okay, so this is pretty much our maybe our our rig. So shoulder um um, elbow, wrist. Uh, then we're going to create a, another curve. And we're just going to maybe yep. Let's go to uh, scene 45. And then we're just going to scale. Roughly the same. You'll notice here we've got red and red, green and green. Um, I think that's because the rig is following itself around. So yeah, that's just the way it works. Um, so what we want to do is we want to add really quickly a curve modifier and select our Bezier curve and we can see it offsets. So what we have to do is we have to say stretch, stretch to bounds um, so, um, now if we make our Bezier handles breathe, we can have this kind of action, right? This is pretty cool. Um, so we get this rig action happening really quickly. So the, the next thing is probably kind of the most complicated part is um, separating um, these two ends out. So what I did is I just select them and hit Y on the keyboard. So that will show you why. There we go, so they're selected out. And then this one, L, F, okay, cool. Um, so they're lined up and we can um, now separate these objects out. The reason why you want to have an upper arm separate to the lower arm is just because uh, you can give the impression that this is the front of the arm and this is the back of the arm. It's a whole foreshortening thing that has to do with things in perspective. Um, so if we just select this last one and P and separate, um, now we have two separate objects and because it's stretch two, um, basically, uh, like stretch two makes the object fit the whole length and then bounding fits the bounds, I guess. I don't know. It's like super unintuitive, like really, really unintuitive. Um, yeah, so basically the whole thing here is, um, with the curve, uh, we want this one, turn off bounds, um, take your object, go into edit mode, and then scooch it half the distance of the rig, of the curve. So now when we use this, um, we now have two separate objects, um, basically, in space. And 
and it's, you know, the rig is like super flexible. Um, yeah, and that's it. So basically, uh, if you're hooking bones to this, you just go control H and you would say, um, hook, hook to a selected bone, like create bones. Um, so basically one bone, I'll just come up here. Um, so basically there's a, a handle here and there's a handle that goes this way and then there is a handle that goes this way. So basically um, one bone would control this vertex point, this vertex point here, and this vertex point here, and the scale of the bone would control the distance of this vertex point here. And then again, like here, um, because you want to be able to have this free, you don't want it to be aligned, um, you would have two bones here, and it's the same principle again. This bone and this bone are both sharing, uh, this vertex point is both sharing this bone and the scale is driving the handle. And then same again for this one as well. And that's like a simple basic curve rig. But um, if it didn't have to use bones, then basically this eliminates half the uh, data information that an animator has to has to look at um, so that's that's huge uh, and the the other thing is is like um, when you're using I'll just quickly create an army chart just, um, Um, so, what was I going to do? Um, uh, I don't know. You know, you get, you get lost in all the doodad things. Um, fuck, 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 what was it? Um, bones. Ah, oh, order K. Auto OK. Um, yeah, right. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so intuitive. Blender, right? Um, yeah, so let's go and make an individual uh, X90. OK. X90 negative. OK. Uh, so we Subdivide it. Okay, and we'll just. Oh, who cares? We'll just do this, right? Um, so, like, if you go into pose mode, um, these are in forward kinematics at the moment. If you switch it to the individual origins you can get this kind of behavior but you can't get this move behavior so the power of auto okay is basically this kind of system um, that works so if that actually worked with objects then that would be pretty impressive and that's it over and out, man.